In this video we'll show you how you can enter some basic geometry uh, using 3D CAM. Uh, so we go into the geometry window. Uh, the default view is in the XY plane and that's where geometry is created which can then be transposed or uh, rotated around into another plane. So uh, the basic drawing modes are lines. So on here we can simply draw a series of lines. If we want to we can add arcs into them as well. That's all very well but we want to put some actual uh, dimensions on there. When you're creating an element like that it is automatically created as a sketch. And we can do anything we like with sketches as uh, we've seen in other videos. So let's delete that. So if we go back into lines and we want to enter some explicit coordinates, we use the messages box here. So the line will start at 0 in X and 0 in Y. And we press this icon here, which is add a point to the drawing. So that sets up 0, 0 as the beginning of the line. So the next point of the line can be X50. Note that all the dimensions are absolute coordinates from zero. Y25, X25, Y40, X0, and Y0. And when we finish drawing, we can click this icon here. So that's created that simple shape. If we want to uh, turn that into a solid, then we can do. We can go to Solids, Extrude, Oops, pick a sketch, and extrude it, and then give it the size. Let's make it, say, 15 millimeters. OK, so that's created the basic block. If we want to put rads on the corner, the easiest way to do that is to select the individual edges. So if I right click and say pick edges, and then pick this one here, add a fillet 10mm, and so on, this one here, add a fillet of say 5, or in this instance here, we could add a chamfer of say 3.5. So that's how we can use the line mode to create some uh, basic geometry and use the window down here, the messages box, to input the uh, sizes of the uh, lines, the start and end points. So I'll just uh, get rid of that. Go back into XY view and into geometry and the next thing we'll do is put on a rectangle. So again we can use exactly the same routine. If you want to use the screen coordinates then we can do, or if you want to use the typed input we can enter the first bottom left hand corner of the rectangle and then the top right hand corner of a rectangle. Ob rounds can be done in exactly the same way. <coughs> Set the radius that you want and then the centers of the two endpoints. Minus 20 in X, 0 in Y for the first point, and 20 in X, 0 in Y for the end point. So uh, that's created an ob round. A polygon, you can do the same thing, set the number of sides, and it can be an inscribed or a circumscribed circle. And what the input is needed here is the start and end point of one of the faces. So if we have 0, 0 as the end point, and then 15 and 0 as the radius from there to that point there. Okay. So that's how you can uh, draw polygons, rectangles, 
um, and so on. Now those can be used uh, as part of the drawing or if they need to be rotated round you can choose the item and then use the rotate command here to rotate and select the view and select the angle so in this case if we wanted to stand that on its end that would be in YZ and the angle would be 90 so that's now created that at 90 degrees and if we want to offset that shape to a different position then we can select the shape and translate it <coughs> and in this case we might want to move it in Y minus say 50 so that moves that minus 50 those shapes can be extruded filleted and uh, anything else you care to do with them so that's just the basics of uh, creating um, shapes using the sketches command here to create various sketches once you've created a sketches a sketch then they can be switched on and off and you can uh, edit individual elements of them by expanding the tree and then using the properties window here to uh, change any of the parameters for that.